I'm stay loving like like this. I'm gonna put my channel, start this hair off for four four. We can get hair we can do so much more. Hope all is well with you guys. I'm here to do a collective reading for you all. Merging some of my energy into my cards. Re energizing it. It's funny, we in and out. And re energize at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> and I'm re energizing with well look and it says light. That is crazy. With my energy of light, that is crazy, okay. I haven't used the deck in a minute, but um, I just love synchronicity. Like, yeah, I'm always receiving synchronicity. But anyway, so <laughs> let's see, collective. Let's see what's going on with you all. Okay, let's see what's there. What's going on with the collective at this time? What is going on with the collective? Blessings, okay, and relaxation and feelings. Okay, blessings and relaxation. Spirit wants you to relax at this, um, not at this time, but spirit wants you to relax. You guys may have been stressing about your blessings here, or stressing about when things is going to come into fruition with you. Spirit wants you to relax here because it is coming. Some of you guys are already living in your blessings, okay? You're already living in the reality, in the reality that you want to, that you manifested for yourself. You just now just got to put in the work so things can come into fruition. Feelings here. I feel like some of you guys are feeling that someone else does not really support you. Okay, with this feelings card. It's like you are waiting for your blessings here, but you feel like someone else in the background is not really supporting you like that or feels differently. Okay, patience at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you guys have been very patient. We always talk about this. I always get this in my readings for some of you guys. Like, y'all just been patient waiting for these blessings here, but it's just somebody in the some hater in the background is waiting on your downfall. And I feel like your ancestors want to make you aware of this person because so you can know how to, um, so you can break free from it, okay? And I feel like this is this is a decision, a hard decision of you needing, of you having to make it, like, cutting this person out. Because I feel like you guys want to see that this person, see this person as innocent and you're waiting for them to change. You're waiting for them to see things from your perspective, but... I feel like this person is not changing. They're not budging here. They're like fixed on how they feel towards you. So Spirit is saying your best bet is to just let this situation go. Because you're a free spirit here. And, you know, this person is a fixed spirit. <laughs> I, know that, I know that's not really a thing. But, you know, they're fixed on what they believe. They're fixed on what their mind is already programmed. You're a free spirited. Because you're mutable. You're able to um, go with the flow of things. Okay? This person has a hard time doing that. And I feel like not only are you free spirited, you're also innocent as well. So I feel like your intentions are pure, all right. But somebody doesn't feel like your intentions are pure, and that's why they're treating you this way. Or this, or this is someone who simply don't understand your intentions, don't understand why you're doing what you're doing. Yeah, spirit is saying you need to turn away from this person. But there's also someone that wants you to turn away from your blessings. You guys, whatever. Listen, like I said, you already living in the manifestation and living in the real in the reality. Uh-oh. Let me close my window. Okay. You are already living in the reality of your manifestation. So now you just got to put in the work. Okay? So I feel like this is... It's like you walking away from this. From when I'm talking... For what I'm talking about. Whoever is resonating for. It's almost like you're turning away from your blessings. And the ancestors do not want you to do that. They want you to keep going. Some of you guys may need to study astrology. Yeah, your ancestors, your ancestors are telling you to study astrology at this time. Some of you guys may even um, want to start a profession with astrology here, okay? Some, um, yeah, some of you guys' sun signs are Sagittarius. You guys are very wise. All right, even, and with the chakras too, because I'm looking at my posters here. <laughs> it's the chakra centers and astrology, and I'm seeing that for a reason. My eyes keep um, being guided towards it, so... Yeah, definitely continue to, continue to study astrology if you have started, or if not, Spirit is saying to study astrology, all right, because I, Spirit is saying, because a lot of you guys want, want to know how you can become more spiritual, becoming more spiritual is just healing yourself, getting to know about yourself, and, you know, dealing with things that resonate with you, okay, and just, you know, tapping into your, your roots and your history, and, and astrology is a part of our history, it's a part of the human history all right not just you know spiritual people but you know we're all connected with astrology i mean 
everybody has a birthday, okay? <laughs> There's not one person on this planet that don't have a zodiac sign, like, you know, so definitely study that. Did this girl poop? Because I'm feeling poop. Oh, she did. Damn. And this is going to take so long if I stop this video and then try to edit it. It's going to take so long to render. It's going to take like two hours. Oh, well, I got to do it. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back, you guys. Alright, so. Spirit definitely wants you to continue to dive deep, okay? Or to dive deep. Continue to heal yourself, okay? Look into, looking into things a lot deeper. Discovering them hidden secrets, okay? Them healing, um, the hidden knowledge. Even your hidden talents. Spirit keeps saying hidden talents. So express your hidden talents, okay? Some of you guys, um, had hidden hidden talents is spirituality. So continue to be on your spiritual path. And if there's someone here that you feel that does not resonate with you or does not support you, they have to go. We need to turn away from them. And Spirit wants you to be in contentment with where you are today. So be proud of yourself. You came a long way, okay? And just know that you're feeling someone else's emotion. They got nothing to do with you. More just like fear projection. Gentleness. Yeah, be gentle with yourself. Relax and be gentle with yourself, okay? Don't be so hard on yourself all the time, collective. So I feel like some of y'all be so hard on yourself all the time. I feel like it's this person's energy. It's external energies that's projecting onto you and you're feeling it and you are expressing it as if it's your own emotion and it's not, okay? You guys have a lot of love for someone or for something and i feel like that's kind of clouding your judgment here or stopping you from seeing things clearly seeing the truth stopping you from seeing the truth yeah be spontaneous yeah you see somebody feels some type of way that you're being spontaneous and that you're stepping outside of the box and that you're being your true authentic self or you are on the road to being your true authentic self that you're you know they have they all i feel like some of you guys like i said are healing you know, tapping into um, spirituality, learning about astrology and stuff like that, your history, you know, your ancestors. And I'm from, it could be someone that's 3D around you that feels some, some type of way, all right? Somebody that claims that they're not 3D, but they are. Just know you're innocent in, in this situation. Don't allow someone else's energy to make you feel like you are um, the criminal and they're the victim, no. That's not true. Let's see. Let's get one more. Let's see. And we have free spirit again. You made a decision to be a free spirit. And somebody feels some type of way about it. Okay? Somebody feels some type of way about you deciding to be a free spirit here. And to surround yourself with positivity. Just know that you have a lot of positivity around you. All right? And you, and you have a lot of positive spirits around you as well that love you. Yeah, you can trust them. They want you to trust them. There's someone that don't want you to trust them because they feel some type of way. I feel like this is someone that's in a dark space right now. All right, look, and acceptance. They want you to trust them and to accept them. You are like, and go with the flow. Yeah, this is not your energy. They want you to keep going. This is not your energy that you pick it up on. Somebody else feels some type of way. And there is almost like it's evil eye. I mean, dead serious. It's almost like it's coming off as evil eye. Okay, someone could still be constantly sending you evil eye. Someone who you may have gave a second chance to, they're still constantly sending you evil eye. And this is why spirit wants you to separate yourself from them because you can't, you can't change this person and how they feel. So this is I usually do use these cards for like my divine feminine, but spirit is telling me to do this reading. Look, you're doing you. Continue to do you. And laugh at this person. I feel like this person is mad that you are doing you. And this person feels like you are laughing at them because you're doing what you're sent here to do. And that's not the case. This person's ego is hurt. Because they think that you are mocking them when you're not. Their ego is hurt. I don't know why I got that. But that's what somebody feels like you're mocking them. Yeah, they, look, they feel alone. And, they, and look, you see how she's looking at the um the, the lady? That's feeling alone, how she got her tongue out. That's what somebody thinking that you're doing to them. You're bragging. They're thinking that you think you're better than them. And you know, you want, um, and that you're boastful and stuff. And that's not true. I don't know why I'm picking that energy up, but that's the energy that I'm getting from this person is that they think that you are boastful, that you're boasting about your blessings. 
They think that you're boastful about your blessings here and about your new and how you paved the new way for yourself. And that's you're not being boastful, you're blessed. You're happy. Okay? So a lot of you guys just came out of karmic cycles and you guys are now ex expressing who you truly are. And this is someone that just can't understand. All right? Someone that is feeling lonely and mad because you took a leap of faith. All right? And I feel like this is someone that's, like I said, sending you evil eye with the recovering from spiritual attacks. This person was uh, attacking you on a spiritual level and I feel like it was through evil eye. Okay? Some of you guys, this is um, your mom. The spirit been telling you about this person and they want you to keep doing you. They want you to continue to do you because you're not doing nothing wrong. You're not. You, you know you're not doing nothing wrong. Some of you guys, you're helping people. You know, you're if, like I said, this astrology. Some of you guys do birth charts. You guys create birth charts for people. You know, and your parents think that that is, is demonology. Okay, when it's not. Okay, you guys are aligning your chakras. They don't believe in chakras. You know, you guys are just on a spiritual path, and they're 3D. Okay. Look what came up. These three cards. I'm not gonna take them, but it says, "Yeah, spirit wants you to be. I'm done." And that I'm done energy, you just need to give the situation up and tell the haters that you said F them. Okay? Take action and, and take action and show up for yourself. Don't wait. Move forward. Step out of your comfort zone. Y'all step out of your comfort zone. Y'all did. Y'all decided to believe in yourself. And someone cannot stand the fact that you decided to believe in yourself. Okay? Don't wait. Move forward. Continue to move forward. Don't take no steps back. All right, and just be done with this situation. Be done with this person, okay? Because you know the situation is not going to change with this person. Your ancestors warned you about them already. All right, and clear. Continue to clear your space. Clear your space. Spirit is saying, clear your space. Raid this person, <laughs> okay? Like, yeah, because you know, raid is like the spray for the roach. Yeah, they funny. The roach spray raid. They want you to cleanse your space, okay? They want you to cleanse your space because this person energy still may be lingering around. All right, or you just need to clear your aura so this person's energy won't penetrate and, 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 and affect you with their projections and things like that. All right, but here we go. Um, you're unbothered. A lot of divine feminines are in here watching. You guys are unbothered. You are an unbothered divine feminine that is doing her thing, and this is bothering someone else. This is making someone else mad. Okay, but you definitely need to clear your space. Look, and it's funny because it says here, blessed. Y'all can see that. It says blessed right there. You guys are blessed. And look, it says, what? Smug? I don't know what that say. Okay, but in the, the song actually says blessed. That's crazy. You guys are blessed. I don't know what this says, but it says throw a party in Mooming Valley. Y'all need to throw a party. It's pretty saying to throw a party for yourself because you are blessed and highly favored. All right, this person is miserable person is miserable look black magic indicated somebody thought was thinking that you was doing black magic okay somebody thinks that you do black magic look this is a hater the hater see you Mom. winning in the wait hold on i'm reading this wrong the hater see you winning they hating in the shadows so this is someone that's hating on you in the shadows and they going around telling people that you do black magic i feel like you guys also be taking care of yourself you went shopping recently this person gets mad when you go shopping and you all about yourself Okay, when you decide to do some TLC for yourself, this is a hater. Let's see why I'm blessings here. That's because they're not doing that for themselves. Justice, yeah. These blessings are is, is, is karma, good karma for you. It's justice for you. Okay? You deserve this. It's your birthright. Okay? It's, this is, you receiving karma. All right? You're receiving good karma. Good karma, I should say. You're receiving good karma. Somebody, I feel like also someone try to do black magic to kind of remove your black karma. Your black karma. <laughs> to remove your good karma. Okay, and I feel like also someone, this is weird. Someone did black magic on you because they thought that you were doing black magic on them. Alright? Man, I feel like, you know, it was almost to try to teach you a lesson, but you're, if that's, not, if that's not the case, you're receiving good karma with that justice card there. That justice card is giving me good karma. Karma is being served. Good karma is being served. And also that you're protected here. Alright? Yeah, I feel like someone definitely... For some of you guys, feel like someone was trying to do black magic to stop you from transitioning. To make um, transition... 
from stop you from transitioning and from making positive changes that's coming in all right spirit wants you to embrace don't resist embrace these new changes that's coming in and embrace the fact that this is happening but between you and this person you need to separate yourself from this person i don't care if they're friend lover parent family you need to separate yourself no get off my chair because you're messing my chair up standing on my chair no 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 You can't stand on mommy's chair. If you're making it lean, you're messing it up. And then she stand on it from the back. That's like not good. Yeah. Again, you're building your brand. Okay, you guys may need to build a brand. All right? For some of you guys. But it says bossing up. Now is a good time to start a podcast, YouTube, or online business. It's just time for you to um to, to, please, to put yourself out there. For a lot of you guys, it's just time for you to put yourself out there. All right, it's time for you to be about yourself. It's time for you to show up for yourself, okay? Stop it, Mina. Here. It's time for you to show up for yourself. Workplace excellence. And if, if some of you guys are actually, are doing great at work, all right? And I feel like you guys want to put a, you, you guys want to like, um, start a little hobby on the side for yourself, okay? And I feel like this probably has to do with your spirituality and things like that. Yeah, spirit, ancestral guidance. Wow. So you're protected. Even at work, you're protected. And I feel like while you're at work, you be thinking of how you can actually be an entrepreneur for yourself and how you can actually um, do better. I feel like your ancestors are giving you an idea or, yeah, giving you this, this, insight, this insight or this idea for you to kind of start your own business. Like, you can... Be multifaceted all on your own, you know, because I feel like you see how you got the mask on and stuff. I feel like some of you guys don't even want to do the mask mandate or want to participate in the vax mandate for work. And your ancestors are kind of like pushing you, okay, to um, start your own business with this financial management. Invest in you. Learn the skills needed to help your career business grow. I was, wow, I just said that. Your ancestors are pushing you to for you to be multifaceted and to work for yourself. And it says invest in you. Learn the skills needed to help your career or business grow. It's time for you to focus on you. It's time for you to step outside of the box. And for it's time for you to transition. Okay? No more wasting time, Spirit saying. No more wasting time. Let's get one more for that blessing card. No more wasting time, collective. And this person can't waste your time anymore. And they're gonna they're gonna receive a karma for it. They are. And that karma is losing you. Yeah, and look, because your ancestors are saying, ain't nobody got time for BS. Trout, hop trout to new things. Your ancestors are, are making you tr hop trout to new things. And they're going to handle this person because they're saying, you don't have time for BS. We don't have time for BS, they're saying. Okay, because a lot of you guys are here to help the collective ascend, okay? Because you guys are, you know, stepping into your power, okay? I know that may sound big for some of you guys, but it's true. I feel like a lot of you guys feel like you have these hidden talents with your astrology or with spirituality healers okay now you guys realizing that you're healers the ones that resonate with, with, with chakras i feel like you guys are healers so get into reiki yoga okay starting your own little chakra alignment workshop okay doing whatever you need to do i feel like you guys are very talented multi-talented and it's time for you to get um to step into that girl power energy okay or manpower, it don't matter. See, why is relaxation here? Believe in yourself. I remember when I first, before I even decided to like mm. make this into like my career, like tarot, or make it into a business, I was um, watching YouTube and I watched the reading. I love, you know, I do love her. Um, don't watch as much anymore. I, I still subscribe. I still watch her, but. Her message is not resonating with me anymore because I'm not in a relationship and she's like a love channel. But I still support her because she definitely helped me awaken. Um, so shout out to her. Um, but hey, and one of her oracle cards, she was saying, you know, um, one of her oracle cards, before I even got into um, tarot and, you know, deciding to make this into like my own business, I was watching a video on YouTube. Um, and she, one of her oracle cards said spiritual career or spiritual business or something like that. And she was in, she was like, um, and that came out in like multiple readings. It's not just one reading, like two or three readings, she would mention that. And she was saying like, you know, some of you guys are considering, 
with starting um a um a, a spiritual bu uh, business or career, and I think you should do it. And it came up many many times. And then other readers will say in their readings that you know you guys are discovering your gifts, your spiritual blah blah blah. blah. And I had bought my first tarot deck, and I wasn't pulling it like wasn't pulling cards because I was not um fluent with their meanings, and I didn't want to make the cards. I didn't want to make up meanings for the cards if I didn't understand because I knew I wasn't tapped into my intuition yet. So I just was like, no, I don't want to be rushing into reading. Let me learn first. That's what I did. I learned first before I actually started to pull cards. And um, so I, I took a leap of faith. And that year, March of 2020, I made my first Instagram post with my, uh, with my energy oracle deck. So it's all about taking a leap of faith and believing. And I don't regret it. I went through a lot. Like I said, I can't I came across more witches on Instagram than light workers because bitches were sending me black magic left to right, left to work. All because I'm standing in front of my camera doing readings and talking about how to collectively to ascend to this age of Aquarius. Okay. And how I was connecting with my senses, my spirit guys, y'all. And it was I had I was in battle with about eight to nine karmics. And about six of them were doing magic on me. And this been this went on for about nine months. I just defeated the last karmic back in eight, um in August. Just defeated her. We, me and my guys, we just finally defeated her. Okay, we sent all that magic back, and we finally defeated her behind. Um, and this is someone who has schizophrenic, who has is schizophrenic. I didn't know she was schizophrenic when I met her. Okay, so it explains why she held on for so long and couldn't let go. And she even went as far as doing magic. I don't know why she even did that, knowing that she had a mental illness, but she wasn't treating her mental illness. That's why I didn't know she had it and she didn't mention it because she wasn't treating it. Um, I wish I could press charges on her because I will. <laughs> I mean, I would, but whatever. Um, you can't use magic against people in court. But anyway, so that's what I feel like you guys may need to do. A lot of you guys may be on that journey where it's like you're trying to figure out if you know you should consider astrology as something as like you know you actually making a profession out of astrology or becoming that healer you know um even tarot some of you guys even want to read tarot some of you guys are like really collect connected with your ancestors and they trying to use you as a vessel to send out messages for the collective like i said earlier you guys are you could be here to help the collective ascend if you guys feel that in your heart, you guys need to take a leap of faith and do it. Who cares about what this other person has to say? Who cares how they feel? Continue to be spontaneous. And just know if this person is, is blocking you, sending you evil eyes, spirit is going to handle them. And they're going to remove this person out of your life. And I feel like that's going to be part of their karma is the fact that they get that they lose you. Okay? And that they could have, you know, they could have handled things differently, but they didn't. They chose to handle things in a childish way. Yeah, you guys are clear, always praying for clarity. And I feel like this person is always clouding your judgment here because they're fear projecting and you feel it. All right. Y'all feel it. And I feel like y'all be praying to your ancestors, asking for clarity. Like why you feel this way? Why you feel clouded? Why you feel stuck? It's this person. What if this person is in your life? All right. You, I feel like you guys hate nothing about this person here. I feel like you guys want things to work out between you and this person because you guys have genuine love for this person. All right. But hope it does resonate before and i feel like in the end they're going to end up saying that they hate nothing about you but it's going to be too late it's going to be too late you guys have a good heart and you guys treat this person well and they just and spirit saying they disrespected you more um long enough more than enough and long enough and it's time for you to um how hop trout to new things and saying copy in the car and it's time for you to focus on your own life this is your life this is not this person's life this is your life all right this is someone that's trying to dictate and ruin your life tell them that this is your life Okay, this is not their life, and you're going to do what's, what's, what's going to make you happy. What's best for you and your children if y'all have children. Okay? Look, healing, balance, and alignment. Some of you guys are talented in this. Okay? Using crystals to heal and using Reiki. You guys are healers. You guys know how to balance people's chakras and keep them in alignment. Y'all need... Listen, I just saw 2020 on my timer. Y'all discovered this in 2020 do it don't let these people say you're crazy they're in the matrix don't let these matrix people say that that's not real because they're going to work at an office at, at an office building from nine to five and you get to work whenever you want to do what you love and what you're talented in and what you're sick here to do 
Some of you guys definitely need to relax and just clear your space. Just know that it's not your energy, it's someone else's energy. All right, some of you guys are really good with crystals. Like, y'all know how to um, manipulate and activate crystal energy to heal and to um to manifest and stuff. Y'all good. Do it. But anyway, Spirit wants you to relax and just clear your space and, and um of this person and get rid of this person's energy, okay? Re re we we rise by helping others i tell you you guys are here to help rise the collective frequency all right you guys have the hidden talent spiritual gifts use them that's why god gave it to you that's why spirit gave it to you so you can use it universe the angels okay whatever you want to refer to your higher sources okay my higher source is universe right and you were born with these gifts all right your ancestors are here to help guide you so you can use so you can know how to utilize these gifts properly and so they can, and so you can be able to um, also help the right people. All right. This person, no, you need to worry about yourself. It's time to worry about yourself. Why is relaxation here? Tell me more about relaxation. Yeah, build your brand. Listen, cleanse your space and continue to do you. Continue to build your brand and come up with um, and come up with all those insightful ideas, those bright ideas that you have for your brand and for yourself. You know you're talented. You know you're multifaceted, so you need to do it, okay? Some of you guys may need to um, build your brand off of um, Instagram. I know it was a fail for me, but it may be a blessing for y'all, all right? Or, you know, start your business off online. Create, you know... You know those, those apps or those websites that you use to like book appointments? Create one of those. Start building your brand now. Okay? Relaxation. Relaxing is all about me. I miss you sometimes, but I don't miss the pain you gave. Yeah, this person, they're giving you a lot of pain right now. You may start to miss them, but it's going to be, you're going to feel a lot better once you start relaxing and, and, and relaxing and focusing on you. All right? You're not going to miss the pain that this person gave you. You're going to feel a lot better, a lot lighter once you remove this person from your life. Why is feeling is here? <laughs> My baby gave me a little headache on the screen. Don't worry. The universe want to get this person hurt, you know, causing you stress and, 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 and anxiety for some of y'all. Yeah. Look, you've been feeling that there's a hater. You've been feeling a hater. Tell that hater to F themselves. You've been feeling a hater. Okay, you've been feeling it. You know this person is low-key jealous and low-key hates the fact that you're stepping into your power. And, you, and you're healing and you're healing and you're working on yourself. And you're stepping into your, your north node. Basically. You're stepping into your north node. And this is, there's someone that don't like it. No more. Someone that don't like it. Tell them that you said F off. Okay, because you're doing what you need to do. Yeah, and I feel like soon this person's going to be crying and praying for you to come back around, but it's going to be too late. They, they messed up enough. They messed up enough, and I feel like this person is, is, is going to break your trust if they have not already. All right, but praying for clarity. I feel like y'all was praying for clarity again as to why you feel in some type of way, why you feel why you feeling doubt, insecurity, like you can't do it, and your ancestors ancestors to reveal that it was a hater. It's not you. It's not that you're not meant to do this. It's a hater. It's a it's a pure hater. Okay, or up under you. Tell them you said bye to drama or anything that don't serve you. It's time. It's time to let them go. Cause they don't serve you no more. You don't need them anymore. It's time to let them go. They don't serve you anymore. Let them go. Let them learn their lesson and let them go through their karma on their own. All right? This is also someone that could be trying to run from their own demons. And that's why they fear projecting on you. You know, what they need to do is heal themselves and work on themselves and leave you alone. Okay? Yeah, they need to do self-reflection. Basically what I said in a nutshell. They need to do some self-reflection. Okay? Because they, they too much, they reflecting on you too much. And, and, and I feel like it's, it's making them bypass their bypass their own issues. No, they need to focus on their own issues here. Bye. And once you tell them bye, because they ain't no longer serving you, they're going to be reflecting on everything that they did and how they could have did things differently. That's going to be their karma. 
Why are the scissors here? Wow. So you guys made a decision that you are going to become who you are. And that being who you are is that Reiki healer, yoga instructor, astrologer, tarot reader, anything into spirituality, your spiritual gifts. That's who you are. Your spiritual gifts is who you are. Okay? I am happy. I am successful. I am healthy. I attract abundance. I have a great body. These are the things that you are telling yourself and that you need to continue to tell yourself, continue to say them positive affirmations because they're working. And it's helping you attract the life that you want to live. I deserve good things. Life is beautiful. I am confident. I am courageous. This person don't like that you're confident and courageous. They, they say that you're crazy for being confident and courageous. I am financially abundant. I have the guidance from my, I have, I have the guidance from the divine and my ancestors. Yes, you sure do, honey. The divine got your back. Your ancestors got your back. And this person is mad that you are connected with your ancestors, your spirit guides. This could be someone that's super religious. They thought they were super connected with, with their angels and their ancestors. But they're realizing that they're not. Okay? They don't, they don't have to be religious. But I just feel like this is someone who thought that they were connected and they're realizing that they're not. You, It's almost like you showed them a, re, a, a reflection of who they want to be. And they realize that they're not that. And, they, and, and this is someone that just decided to envy you and hate you. I don't, like I said, this is going to be different for everyone. So I don't know who it is, who this specific person is, but I do know their energy is affecting you. Okay? You will do big things. This person trying to say you're not going to do big things, but you are. Step out of your comfort zone, which you did. Stop doubting your greatness. And that's what you guys were going through recently, is that y'all was doubting your greatness. Like, nah, I'm not all that good. Nah, I'm just I'm just tripping. It's because I'm seeing other people do it. No, that's what this person's saying about you, and you picking up on it. Mm -mm. You will do big things. That's what you're meant to do. That's what you came here to do. Yeah, <laughs> it's time to get your money right. Focus on the bag, your bag. How are you going to um make money from your business? How, how are you going? Yeah, how are you going to be prosperous from your business? How are you going to be abundant? It's time for you to get your money right. And some of you guys are saying that like it's time for me to get my money right. It's time for you to focus on your money. And you focusing on your money is is is, all, is also corresponds with you becoming who you are, being in alignment with who you are, and listening to the divine and your ancestors. Cause they here, they around you, and they protecting you. They they keep they put you on game about every everybody who do you wrong. Okay. I can't make this up. Spiritual guidance at the bottom of the deck. I cannot make this up. I just said it. The ancestors are guiding you and protecting you. Okay. And they're telling you to to leave this person alone. Okay. Cause they're they're projecting their own fears and doubts onto you. Because they can't do it. So that now that means you can't do it. You want cereal? You want cereal? No. But that's all we have right now is cereal. Well, we have food, hot. but you want hot food. Yeah, she said hot. hot, hot, hot. All right, hold on, y'all. Give me a second again. <sighs> okay, I'm back, y'all. Sorry. <sighs> so, yeah, let's just keep going. I have a bit of a headache. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Anyway, let's see. Turn away, spirit. Why is turn away here? This person definitely wants you to turn away from your destiny and your blessing here. Wow, recovering from spiritual attack. And I just said I have a headache. So this person could definitely be attacking your crown to keep your crown blocked. To keep you stuck in a karmic cycle here. Alright? Even if that's not the intention, but that's kind of keeping you in a karmic cycle, blocking your crown. That's blocking you from universe, from the divine and your ancestors. Okay? No, and, and a blocked crown is delusion okay mental illness no people don't realize like the shit they be doing really bad um cause it really affects people that's why spirit wants you to turn away from this person because this person is spiritually attacking you okay and, and like i said again for some of you guys it could be through evil eyes it's too much it's too much spiritual shit going on <laughs> too much spiritual attacks going on and i feel like you're strong and you're really um really resilient so you're able to like push through it all right, but it, you got to let this person go. You got to let this person go, okay? They're doing too much behind behind your back, behind closed doors. And spirit is saying it's just too much. You can't. 
He has a betrayal and abundance. This person was trying to is trying to cause some type of uh, betrayal that's going to affect your abundance. And it's, I feel like it's betrayal because you won't know that this person did this to you, and you would not expect this person to do this to you. But it's betrayal, and they're trying to affect your abundance. They're trying to stop your money, and I feel like that's what's happening behind closed doors. All right, even this person sending you evil eyes. Some of you guys need to go outside some more, go to the park, enjoy nature, just enjoy life, enjoy life. Don't worry about this person. Don't let this person keep you cooped up in the house all day, sad and depressed. No, because you, I feel like some of you guys want this person's approval, but you don't need this person's approval. All you, the only approval you need is your own approval in your ancestors, okay? They're your friends right now. They, they the person, the people that you need in your life. I'm in this place too. But look, again, you would do great things. It came up in reverse. I don't read these in reverse. But I feel like the reason why it stood out that way is because your the spiritual attack, the spiritual attack is this person saying you will not do great things. And that you that and that this is not your comfort zone. This is not what you're supposed to do. That's the spiritual attack. You will do great, um, big things, great things, okay? And continue to step out of your comfort zone and to do to be different, to do different. Okay, stop doubting your greatness. This person needs to stop doubting your greatness and keep doubting your greatness. Look, caution. Maintain social distancing. Fuck boy energy. This could be y'all ex doing this to y'all. But I feel like this person just got negative energy. You just need to stay away from them. I think that's the overall message from this is that y'all just need to stay six feet distance from them. Okay? Because their their energy is not is not good for you. It's toxic for you, okay? Why is gentleness here? And y'all was gentle enough with this person. Y'all tried, y'all tried, y'all tried, and it did not work. Okay. Tell me about gentleness. Thank you. Spiritual guidance. I mean, ancestral guidance. I'm sorry. Ancestral guidance. Your ancestors are here, okay? Your ancestors are here. And they're telling you to just be gentle and relax. Cleanse your space and continue to build your brain. Your ancestors are protecting you from this person. Your ancestors see everything. And they see what this person is doing to you. Not only are they disappointed, okay, but they're going to um to block them from, from messing with you, okay? Some of you guys did not expect this to happen with this person. Y'all thought this person was, was supporting you and had your back. But really, no, they're two-faced. They're fake. And they have a lot to say about you behind closed doors. It says, hey, hater, I love the way my name stay in your mouth. Your name stay in this person's mouth. They stay worrying about you. Okay, because they ego. You hurt their ego. You triggered them. You, you triggered them, and you made them see all that they're, um, who, who they thought they were. They realized that they're not. Again, like I said, you are their reflection of who they want to be. Yeah. More to offer. You kick this person out. This is your person's time to kick, to kick them out. Let them go. This person is dimming your light. Some of you guys may need to move out. And this is family. You just need to move away from your family because their energy is dimming your light. Someone didn't know your worth. They had to go. Exactly. This person don't know your worth, so they have to go. That's what your ancestors are saying. She, he or she don't know your worth, so they have to go. That's literally what your ancestors are saying. They're, they're moving you out of here. Moving you out of this person's space or moving this person out of your space because they have because they, they don't know your worth and they have to go straight up and down. And it's time for you to make strong relationships with money, build build um brand building, starting email lists, stay aligned with technology. It's just time for you to stay focused. It's just time for you to stay focused. All right, you guys go to work every day, but you're not happy. You, your ancestors are nudging, uh, is, um, nudging you to start your own business here. You know, take your talents and make money out of it, okay? Manifest a business out of your talents here. You alchemize, a, um, alchemize your talents to, to make a beautiful life for yourself. And that's what you need to do. Okay, I'm not saying just up and quit your job with nothing. No, obviously you have a plan. Like you guys, like I said, I had a plan when I left my job. I had money in my account and everything. I had a plan. And them witches ruined my plan. You know, so I had to start all over. I had to make like three Instagram pages. This, you know, this is my third page that I just created. Cause I had to get away from certain energies, from certain negativities. Okay, <laughs> certain people that just were not supporting of me. Okay, and sometimes you have to move away from people. But sometimes the way you live is toxic. The environment. Okay, I had to move away as well. I had to move away too, just to get away, get away from certain energies, cause they were not serving me. And you know one thing I'm telling myself every day, and this is something that I had a hard time working on, is staying, is standing in my truth and in my power and not allowing a naysayer to tell me what's right or what's wrong about me and my ancestors and my spiritual journey. 
not everyone's spiritual journey is magical some people's journey is more intellectual so they they receive you know they don't understand the magical aspect of spirituality because maybe they're more intellectual i don't know i don't really care i know everybody's journey is different and i feel like y'all's journey may be a bit more magical than the next person and that's because their third eye is not open enough to the possibilities their third eye is not all the way open it can't be so let's just keep going why is be spontaneous here I know what y'all went through, and I, I and I understand every day why I went through what I went through for this reason to help you guys get through it. And some of y'all been crying, been really sad, a lot of disappointment about this situation. Keep doing what you're doing. Look, look at this. It says knee high, private eye on social media, mad at your glow up. Somebody is mad that you are glowing up and you're loving yourself and you healing. You finally feel secure about yourself okay you finally feel beautiful you finally becoming who you are and this is someone that for some of you guys that follow each other on the internet you same same um friend y'all got the um you friends there we go what i'm talking about y'all friends on the internet i don't know and they just talking mess because you're being spontaneous they're mad like i say you see how he's angry looking at that computer you you're triggering people's ego and i feel like if you the guy decide to put yourself out there whoever this person is they're afraid that you're going to actually help people and that's triggering their ego all right they want you to to stay suppressed this is someone that is suppressing you all right they're suppressing you and your ancestors are telling you this with the spirit you got it your spirit guys are telling you this this is your spirit your spirit guys and your ancestors are here your ancestors are like some of your ancestors are spirit guys but their past loved ones you know deity people that used to be here like whatever like that and that's how i look at it like ancestors are beings that used to walk this planet and spirit guides are like your angels you know angelic beings like beings not that they never incarnated here never been to planet earth i'm sure they have but you know what i'm trying to say they they really have a physical form that's how i look at it i could be wrong but just know your spirit guides and your ancestors are both here supporting you okay they're both here supporting you transitioning yeah you guys are going through a major transition continue to transition because the positive changes are coming embrace don't resist stop stop running from your passion stop running from your destiny stop running stop resisting don't allow this person to make you feel you know feel like someone that you're not because they're projecting on you all right they need to, all that mess that they say about you they need to put that on they need to realize that they're that that is who they are that they're actually projecting who they are onto you straight up why is free spirit here look unbothered look listen you just unbothered listen you free spirited and you're unbothered okay all right if you are divine feminine here watching you are unbothered or you're divine feminine if your male is unbothered and y'all have someone that's jealous of your divine feminine doing all this to your divine feminine just know that there's a copycat want to be you as b-i-t-c-h that's watching you all right just know what you're feeling is true there's someone watching you in the shadows okay watching you glow up and they don't like it they don't like the fact that you're free spirited and they i feel like they low-key want to be like you but they so egotistical and so prideful that they're never going to admit that to themselves that they want to be like you all right and, and that they want you to help them they're too prideful they feel like they should they should be on your level already or more and i feel like that's when the black magic indicated came in <laughs> that's when the black magic came in okay Shit, that, that's what happened to me on my instagram basically yeah i had a childhood friend who i thought you know was trying to be spiritual like me you know claimed she wanted to be a light worker and all type of stuff like that trying to find out she decided to be a witch behind my back which is fine i don't care but spirit told me that for a reason because she thought she was hurting me by becoming a witch behind my back okay and then was doing all type of um witchcraft for me she i asked spirit like what made her do that and they told me she looked up how to do black magic on people because she was mad that I, my third eye was active. She tried to steal my third eye and everything. How do you deal with to steal my third eye? And that's when my spirit guys went in and took her third eye. We just, I took a third eye before and they took a third eye. Okay, well, because when you start to try to block people crown and third eye, people ancestors and spirit guys have a right to block it. So does universe. If universe ain't do it, universe will give them that go-to. Like, yes, you can go ahead and, and steal it and block it. And sometimes it be punishment. Not all the time it's because people in the matrix. It's because people was messing with somebody else's third eye, their crown, their chakra. Okay? And now they have, now that karma is coming. 
Yeah, but somebody was definitely trying to do magic on your abundance because they couldn't, they wanted you to stop. Look, please stop hating on the glow up. They wanted you to stop, please. They just couldn't stand it. Yeah, listen, didn't I say enjoy life and just keep this person away from you? Just enjoy your life and keep them away. And again, like I said, because this person is is evil eyeing your glow up. Someone's giving your glow up the evil eye. I'm telling you, I can't make this up. You are very, um, um, you're full of empowerment. You're all about girl power and, and empowerment, okay? A leader here to help guide other divine feminine and masculine, okay? That's one of your goals. And I feel like you need to do that. No longer feeling bo boxed in. Stop feeling boxed in, okay? Girl boss. Continue to be confident. You're a, you're a capable woman who pursues her own ambition instead of working for others or otherwise settling in life. We were talking about this. Y'all don't want to work for others anymore. All right? So a girl boss is a confident, capable woman who pursues her own ambitions instead of working for others or otherwise settling in life. You guys need to just become confident and know that you can do it here. Know that you can do it. All right? I love y'all so much. I feel like that is the message. I love y'all. Okay. <sighs> Namaste.